Jenny here again. In the last video we introduced our real-time clothing simulation and fitting technology, which allows users to try on virtual clothes whether on a retailer's website, mobile app, or in a virtual mirror that's located in a street shop window or point of sale kiosk. The possibilities are endless and here we'll be showing the latter, a virtual mirror. We showed one of the ways for a user to create their physically accurate body avatar by entering a few measurements, and however you do the virtual fitting, you'll need a high poly avatar and high poly cloth. We can then model real clothing that users can try on their avatars, see how the clothing fits them, where it's tight or loose, and how it will move and behave when animated, all in real time so there is no waiting and downloading. Of course, you can then buy the clothes. And the gray silk dress I tried on to illustrate how realistic the model dress is will also be used here. In this video, we'll show you our first virtual mirror experiment by using the Microsoft Kinect for Xbox 360 camera for the skeletal animation combined with our avatar cloth, real-time simulation and animation, and fitting technology. The Kinect skeletal tracking system is quite primitive as it's meant for gaming. On the other hand, it's very cheap and is already present in many homes, so keep in mind that the quality you'll see can be greatly improved by using some other markerless motion capture camera. Oh, and don't mind the floating shoes. When the Kinect camera loses sight of a body part, it can't imagine where it should be and goes pretty wonky. So there are two user experiences available in a virtual mirror, each with its pros and cons, and we'll show you both. The first is using an avatar as you see here, which is superimposed on my virtual mirror image. The avatar has my measurements, it moves as I move, and actually does it quite nicely, and it's trying on a grey silk dress that I tried on in the last video as well. In the last video we showed one of the ways for a user to create their body avatar by entering a few measurements, but there are other ways of creating the accurate dimensioned avatar, such as using a body scan of the shopper, whether taken in a 3D body scanner or with a motion tracking camera within the virtual mirror. You can also combine these methods, for example if a user puts in just a couple of measurements, the camera maps out a 3D point cloud, and a database of thousands of body scans is employed for statistical extrapolation. It goes without saying that users will be able to customize their avatars to look like them, have their hairstyles, skin type, facial features, tattoos, what have you. We can employ AAA game level realism to the avatar, which is one of the pros of this avatar method. So imagine yourself walking down the street, and an artificial intelligence avatar in a store window senses you walking by and comes to life. She can take your look, but she can also be customized to look like a blue avatar, a fairy, a punk rocker, whatever. She invites you to come closer and takes your accurate body shape and measurements and says, here, try this dress on for size. As she tries on the different garments, she helps you judge which ones suit you and fit you best of all from the store. It's a new kind of window shopping. The tension maps here represent where the garment is tight on your avatar in red, loose, in green, and comfortably touching in yellow. The other benefit of the artificial intelligence version is we can do away with tension maps, which are intuitive and cool for techies, but not for the everyday shopper. Instead of trying to figure out tension maps and what that means for how the garment will feel, the lively avatar will tell you that it might be, say, tight under the armpits and too loose in the bottom, so your butt will look too big. <laughs> Try this one instead. 